So this is a chapter seven for air conditioning process. So I will just go briefly uh, because um, I already uploaded in the uh, YouTube channel that you can refer or most of the uh, presentation from the YouTube channel. So today's class is a synchronous class and I will go through some of the examples. We're going to do the example in here. So I need your support as well. Please open the steam table, the property table, thermodynamic property table that I give you before in the soft copy. Boleh semua ya? Tolong buka ya for that uh, property table so that when we do the analysis, I need your assist to look in the property tables and then to 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 get the information that it is required. Okay. So air conditioning process, which is actually to to put uh to treat the air and then to to treat the uh, surrounding environment for our desired uh, comfort level. So the comfort levels depends on the temperature and the humidity. So in order to go that, you require to do the heating process, the cooling process, humidifying, and as well the dehumidifying process. Which is involved for office building, residential, the target for our desired conditions. Yeah? Like you go into the class. And then as well for the clean room and uh, for the operation theater to maintain the uh, temperature, the room temperature, the, the surrounding temperature, the surrounding environment of our working space. So the comfort zone, which is uh, in between 22 to 27 degrees Celsius and the humidity level between 40 to 60 degrees Celsius. So with the means of the air motion and as well the, uh, with the air ventilation and uh, there is the air velocity or air movement in the uh, our surrounding area. So others affecting comfort level is the air cleanliness, odor, radiation. So with the current uh, COVID-19 punya issues, maybe you can look uh, some of the criteria for what we call as the uh Allah Akbar. apa tu yang kita panggil di uh, building effect apa nama dah uh, because of the air circulation uh, in the environment in the in the building uh, when there is one uh, person get the cold ataupun get the flu uh, the worst is the uh, ada penyakit lagi lah such as as covid 19 something like that and then uh, the the apa ni the 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 person um, sneeze, and then uh, it is been absorbed into the uh, our uh, air conditioning systems, and then there is no filtration process, and then it will be the the recycle into the other rooms. So this. Uh, get into the other rooms and then it will spread the uh, the, the virus okay so there is one term that we use widely but uh, i forgot the, the terminology that used but you can google it yeah nanti you, you you can find it by yourself what is the terminology used okay so this is due to the air ventilation and then air velocity move air movement in inside of the in the building so that's uh, okay before that uh, before we go for the analysis we have to look on the type of the uh, atmospheric air which is the our atmospheric air our surrounding which is um, consists of the mixture of the gas which is known as the dry air okay and then it is contained gas plus with the uh, water vapor or moisture Okay, so this is atmospheric air. So dry air, it is contained of, uh, I think this is about uh, 20, it is contained of the oxygen, oxygen 21%, nitrogen 
78% and the other gases 1% okay all right so so thus the the pressure for the atmospheric pressure if we use with the uh, dalton's law the pressure for the atmosphere is consists of the pressure from the dry air plus pressure from the moisture okay so the total pressure of the, the, the total pressure the summation pressure of the atmospheric air is the summation of the pressure contributed by the dry air and pressure contributed by the moisture so if you imagine this is uh, the environment that we have in, in, in a small volume the presentation of the pressure here is combination daripada dry air plus combination daripada water vapor okay so yeah it's a uh, this one uh, and then the temperature that we are going to handle which is between minus 10 to 50 degrees Celsius so thus the dry air can be treated as the idle gas which the CP value is equal to 1.005 kilojoule kilogram degree Celsius or Kelvin then we're going to take uh, zero degrees as the reference temperature so that the enthalpy for this one is equal to enthalpy for the dry air equal to CP times with the temperature so our value for this 0 1.005 times with the temperature so <clears throat> this is the yeah this is what i have mentioned before about the atmospheric uh, pressure which is the combination the, the summation of the dry air pressure and the uh, moisture pressure so the enthalpy so previously it, it was the h enthalpy for the dry air and then enthalpy for the water vapor will be assumed at the if you look at the property table other value yang HF referring to the to the saturated liquid kan saturated liquid HG is the saturated vapor so enthalpy for the water vapor will be depends on the temperature you look on the temperature side and then you have to look for the this one so enthalpy at enthalpy of the saturated vapor at the temperature value so kalau you look dalam table dalam uh, video saya pun ada tunjuk I have shown that where <coughs> the value for uh, enthalpy at uh, enthalpy for G at 0 degree Celsius equal to 2501.3 kilojoule over kilogram <coughs> thus from uh, 0 to Hg at 50 degrees Celsius you will get the range there and then if you plot into the uh, enthalpy plus temperature what you get is actually daripada this one the slope here 2501.3 and the slope here is 1.82 so that's how the y equal to mx plus c coming from these equations okay all right so this is the, the definition the specific humidity is the amount of the enthalpy that uh, the amount of the moisture content uh, with the regard to the uh, amount of the dry air so which is omega and then the derivation saya ada tunjuk dalam uh, youtube and then we have come up dengan 0 0.622 pv over and then another one important is the relative humidity so this relative humidity is very important to to look on the uh, the, the level of the uh, humidity level in our environment so it is represented by pv over pg where pv is the pressure at that temperature and then pg is the saturated pressure for the uh, for, for, for the for the temperature Okay. which is given by this 
and then if you combine between the specific immunity and relative immunity you will get this equation equation ni tak perlu hafal tapi you kena faham you have to understand how that uh, the equation will be uh, apa nama tu derived and this is the enthalpy which is the enthalpy is presented enthalpy sama juga macam tadi ya eh? i give you the scenario the the pressure is presented by the uh, uh, pa plus pb so and as well enthalpy is presented by enthalpy daripada dry air plus enthalpy daripada uh, water vapor so if we simplify that the enthalpy per unit kilogram of dry air is given by enthalpy for the dry air plus enthalpy for the water vapor or moisture okay which is for the dry air 2501.3 plus 1.82 times dengan temperature ataupun you can refer into the table plus omega oh sorry saya punya ni silap ya yeah. HA is the CP times T plus omega 2501.3 plus 1.82 times dengan temperature or you can refer to table steam table yeah or property table thermodynamic property table so the temperature that we refer here this value for t is the dry bulb temperature dry bulb temperature is the atmospheric temperature okay yeah, so this is example you believe what and and then we have a dew point temperature the dew point temperature is when the temperature kalau you look on the temperature entropy diagram which is the temperature where it is start to do the saturation it start jadi saturated so this is what we call as the dew point temperature okay also similar it, when it is start to do the condensation kenapa to do the uh, they start to do condensation bila sampai the saturated vapor they we go to the mixing region and then in the mixing region uh, the uh, saturated liquid will be developed okay so this is adiabatic saturation in order to determine the absolute or relative humidity so saya so will not go into long uh, process dekat sini cumanya what you have here is that if you pass through a, a stream of uh, unsaturated air with the T1, Omega 1 and V1 and then passing through with the liquid water and then there is some vaporize then by the end of the process the saturated uh, it will produce with the saturated air we do the mass balance for the dry air which is a constant but mass balance for the flow rate yang air masuk and then you have the water coming in uh, yang evaporative uh, evaporative uh, cooling and then uh, out condition so if you do an energy balance you will get this kind of uh, equations so the measurement of the uh, the, the measurement of the, um, uh, the the processes we going to use the psycho uh, psychrometer slim transformer and as well um, ada satu lagi yang kita tengok in the next slide so this ceiling psychometer is to measure the wet bulb okay the wet bulb uh, temp, uh, ataupun the dew point temperature yang you look in the previous uh, uh, slide wet bulb or dew, dew point temperature is the temperature for the uh, liquid is the um, is the temperature for the uh, uh, the moisture so and then the dry bulb temperature is the atmospheric temperature okay so the dry bulb wet bulb temperature can be measured by uh, this slim psychrometer but um, it only can be read when there is the air motion or air flow for the for the sling so does the sling have to be rotated and to produce the motion and then the this is a weak weak ni dia kena sejukkan 
So kalau you, if you go dah buat yang um, apa nama tu di air conditioning process uh, dalam lab before, then you will understand here. Yang mana ada dari satu satu yang dry bulb, satu lagi yang wet bulb uh, thermometer. So yang wet bulb thermometer ni dia dimasukkan di been put into the water and then it measures the the, the flow coming in and then with the that assumptions the flow which uh, uh, heat transfer process happen and then it will maintain the similar temperature as the uh, moisture temperature and this is the aspirating psychrometer which is required a motor to produce the air motion so with this uh, it will read the dry bulb temperature tdb and wet bulb temperature so db okay db sorry uh, wet bulb temperature uh, t wb okay so why we need these two temperature we can use these two temperature to read in our psychrometric chart so in here we have a psychrometric chart where the dry bulb temperature given in the x axis and the wet bulb temperature given in the here okay so when wet bulb temperature is equal to dry bulb temperature for example kalau you ambil 25 degrees celsius this one and then you tolak naik atas 25 degrees celsius when the tdb equal to twb so it is equal to saturation equal to 100% okay so this is where the saturated line saturation line equal to 100% when this is achieving the dew point temperature when it's exceeding of this uh, condition the condensation will start to happen okay so this plus uh, y axis ni pula adalah omega ataupun the specific humidity Okay, kalau you tengok this one, kalau ambil this one, 25, approaching 25, and then you can read the omega value. And then here, tadi kita dah tengok ada value for the enthalpy. So, this is the enthalpy value. Okay, and then uh, going down from this, saturation line equal to 100 degree, 100%, 90, and then you dapat lagi apa, 80, 70, this is the relative humidity. This is a specific humidity, which is value dia gram per kilogram of dry air. Yani kilogram of dry air for the enthalpy, and then you also have the specific volume. Okay, so this is a summation ya apa yang you dah you ada in the uh, psychrometric chart. This line specific humidity, dry bulb, specific volume, specific enthalpy. Relative humidity yang line curving and then this is the WB wet bulb temperature. Okay. Alright, so this example you boleh guna look at the uh, psychrometric chart, you tengok the index chart and then you find the value uh, corresponding. Uh, this is a straightforward, very easy. Okay. Ah, so this is the yang important part that um we are going to look on the the processes. Okay. So, first the processes in the air conditioning, simple heating, simple cooling, humidifying, dehumidifying. Okay. So, the simple cooling, if you imagine this is a psychrometric chart, simple cooling, it will move to the left. Simple heating, move to the right, straight line. So, kalau dia move to the right, macam ini, omega ini adalah, apa dia, constant kan? Move to the left, for the simple cooling and simple heating, you have to understand that the specific humidity, there is no additional, no reduction for the humidity. There is no additional of the moisture content or no reduction of the moisture content. So, the omega is equal to constant. Whereas, when you move up, straight up, macam ni, the temperature no change, but you will change in terms of the moisture content okay and then go, go down for the dehumidifying reduce of the moisture content humidifying process plus with the, the uh, with the heating process we call as the 
heating and humidifying process. Cooling plus with the dehumidifying we call as the cooling and dehumidifying. Sebab dia sejuk dan dia minus the moisture content. This is a heating with the humidification where you have a simple heating process in this section which is actually the omega is constant then this is the omega is uh, increase okay sections then we also have the cooling with the dehumidifying so which is from the state one go to state two m dot a one m dot v one uh, phi one then what else you have t1 okay and then omega 1 then uh, m dot a2 m dot v2 t2 uh, t2 omega 2 so all these variables we need to find in either we have to you have to calculate it or you can use the psychromatic chart so the psychromatic chart only can be used when when the uh, atmospheric pressure p atmospheric pressure is equal to 101.325 kilopascal or when at the standard atmospheric pressure conditions okay so this one kita ada ke uh, yeah so this is a simple heating so nanti you boleh buat sendirilah. So this is just a simple heating and then you can use one ATM so which mean that you can use the psychrometric chart. Yeah. So you tengok dalam psychrometric chart tadi tu refer balik dekat dry bulb temperature 4, uh, 10 degree Celsius and then the relative humidity. So daripada sini P equal to 40 40%. Then daripada P 40% um Ah yeah, dia pakai 4 kilowatt heater, so you have to do the energy balance. 4 kilowatt. Then you have to find how much uh, omega maintain. Then what will be the T1, and this is going to be the T2. Okay, so you find out exit temperature the proper. Okay, so this is uh, you have to do the mass balance and energy balance. And this is a uh, cooling. Sama juga. Uh, this is uh, dekat what atmosphere. Also, you can use uh, the psychromatic chart. Apa ni? Kita ada relative humidity. First heated 20 degrees Celsius in the heating section. And then humidified. Okay. So, kita akan gunakan this one. So, we're going to use this uh, this uh, this problem. Eh? This, this example. Kita akan tengok dalam kita punya uh, solutions. Okay. Alright. So, ingat dah. Eh, 15 degree Celsius. 60% relative humidity. Nanti kita akan draw dia punya conditions ni. So, firstly, you have to draw the schematic. Okay. So, schematic diagram. Okay. So, this is a step 1. Step 2. And then this is a humidifier. Okay. And this is a heater. In the state 1, the temperature T1 equal to 15 degrees Celsius. P equal to P1, 60%. Okay. Nanti we have to find. And then the flow. Uh, the volume flow rate 45 m cube per minute. Ingat tu, nanti saya saya akan tanya you balik, you tolong referkan balik order values yang kita ada kat sini ya. Kita sampai T2 equal to 20 degree Celsius. Okay. So, simple heating. Masuk. Uh, we have to find the Q in. Okay, the amount heat transfer in the heating section. Lepas tu, the amount of steam added into the air. Ha, so, yang ini amount of mg. And then, the exit dekat 3. M.A3. M.V3. P3. 
omega 3 uh, so kita kena find all these properties all these variables at the exit condition by using the cyclomet chart okay so previously 60% the relative humidity kita boleh tengok dekat sini all the tables here in we can use this and then this is the point kan this is the point for our cyclomatic chart okay where the value for here kalau you ambil you go straight here tengok line dia okay so our value kat sini straight kan 60% Okay, so which is 4, yeah, 4 point berapa tu? 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 point 2. So, omega 1 equal to 4.25 gram per kilogram of dry air. Okay, so this is a step 1. Okay, and then be heated sampai lah 20 degree Celsius. Okay, 20 degree Celsius, this is a state 2. So, you can refer here, boleh tarik, then you can use your ruler to find the enthalpy, which is the enthalpy is about 20, so this is about 20, 30, 20, 21, 22, 23. 21. This is about 21 or 22. 22 kilojoule per kilogram. So, this is a H1. Okay. And then, uh, 30 degrees Celsius. Uh, 20 degrees Celsius. Take this one. How much? Berapa tu? Nilai dia 30. It's going to be ni sikit lah. About 32. So, this is a H2. 32 kilojoule kilogram. Kelvin, oh sorry, kilogram, kilogram, and then this one omega sama, and then they naikkan that one, how much a uh, volume, forty five m cube per minute kan? Uh, step tiga berapa tadi temperature dia? N, ingat tak? Step three, N of condition dia berapa? Berapa? 25 ya, 25 degree Celsius. So 25 degree Celsius ada tak nilai omega ada tak ada? Only 25 degree Celsius? 65%. Ha? 65%. 65? Tak saya ingat. cuba tengok slide tu. 25 degree Celsius, so this is the, the dry bulb temperature 3. Okay. 25 65 ya? Ah uh, 65 tu relative humidity. Okey, 65 relative humidity kat sini. Okey. So that point, so dia akan naik ke atas lah Okey, dia pergi move to the right and then naik ke atas. So this is a step 3. Okey. So kalau you channelkan straight ke kanan the value dia sama dengan apa tu? 14. Okay. 14 gram per. Okay. Omega 3 sama dengan 14. Ya. Yeah. And then atas sini berapa ni? So this is about 50. Let's say 50. 58 dah. H3 equal to 58 kilojoule per kilogram. Ingat dah the value. Tolong tulis orang. H1 22. H2 32. H3 58 Omega Omega 3 14 Omega 1 4.25 Tulis tulis boleh tak tulis Idea tulis tak Sebab bila when, when I go to the next slide value value ni tak ada nanti I kena recall balik ya yeah? Boleh tak idea 
चले जी चलो ओके व्हाट एज वैल्यू ओके सो दैट इज इंपॉर्टेंट वैल्यू सो व्हेन वी डू द एनर्जी बैलेंस ओके एंड मास बैलेंस सो वी फर्स्ट वी हैव टू डू द मास बैलेंस ओके बट बिफोर वी प्रोसीड Uh, saya nak tulis uh, step 1 dulu okay. Step 1 Temperature 10 degrees Celsius um, Fee berapa tadi? 60% eh? Fee 60% H1 equal to 22 kJ per kg Omega, uh, omega 1 Berapa tadi? 4.2 gram per kilogram of dry air step 2 T2 equal to 20 degree Celsius V tak tahu berapa nanti you boleh cari uh, H2 32 kilojo kilogram omega 2 equal to 4.2 eh? gram per kilogram uh, dry air Step 3 Step 3 berapa tadi? Step 3 um, uh, T3 equal to 25 degree Celsius Omega 3 65% H3 sama dengan 58 kJ kg okay. Omega 3 14 Okay, alright. So you have to do the mass balance and energy balance. Okay, tapi uh, okay. Let's do the mass balance. Okay, let's do the mass balance. So the mass balance for the dry air, dry air, where we have m dot a one equal to m dot a two equal to M dot A three, so which is the summation of the M dot A equal in equal to summation of M dot A out, okay? Where from here hanya ada dry air tu tidak ada pertambahan daripada mana mana, so which is equal to M dot A constant saja. But for the moisture, M dot A So, I will go directly to M.A2 dengan M.A3. The summation of the water vapor uh, in equal to summation of water vapor out. Yeah? Which is equal to M.V1 sorry M.V2 plus M.G equal to M.V3 which is equal to m dot a no omega 2 m dot a plus m dot g equal to omega 3 m dot a alright so m dot g equal to m dot a omega 3 minus omega 2 omega 2 dah ada, omega 3 dah ada kan which is m dot a saja yang tak, m dot a you... oh tak ada dah lain habis so eg at 10 degree Celsius equal to 1.2246 kilopascal. So thus our value for PV equal to 0.6 times dengan 1.2246. Berapa nilai dia? 1. Point. Dapatkan this value. Okay. So PA equal to 101.325 minus 0.6 1.2246 Tolong kira seorang Then Rho is 
rho A is equal to PA over RT which is equal to how much kat sini PA this value R287 temperature T uh, 10 campur dengan 278 jadi 288 so value atas tu berapa tu cepat kira 1.2246 kali dengan 0.6 come on Berapa? Panjang lagi ni nak pergi ni. Berapa tu? Hello. Hmm. Kamu tidur ke ni semua ni? Hai. Dah kali sibuk dah tadi. But anyway, okey. Ha, dah kali sibuk dah? Belum, belum. Ha. Saya so, sibuk 5 55 je lah kan? 55 sampai lah dah. Okay, so and then kat sini 30 kali dengan 10 lah. Okay, something like that. So this is the value that you will get. Eh? Okay, so that is for the for the um, Q in and this is value for the MG. The mass flow rate for the humidifier and the mass flow rate for the for the heater. Okay, and this is another example which is um, the air enter of an air conditioner at 100 kilopascal and 32 degree Celsius and relative humidity of 70% at the rate of 2 meter cube per minute and it lives as saturated air at 15 degree Celsius so this sejuk, cool and dehumidifying part of the moisture in the air that condense the reprocess also removed at 15 degree Celsius so M dot F is equal to 15 degree Celsius so First, you need to do the, you need to sketch the schematic diagram. Okay, you need to sketch the schematic diagram. Besar lah saya nak ni, saya tidurkan benda ni lah senang sikit kan. Boleh lah. So, you're not going to see my face lah. Okay. Alright, so this is a schematic diagram. So, I will draw this schematic diagram. So, from state 1. And then, this is the cooling coil that you have. And this is the, uh, yeah, let's say this state 2. And then, bila sampai this part, the relative humidity equal to 100%. And then, they drop sebagai, apa ni? Drop sebagai uh, condensed water. Okay. So this is a Q dot out. Okay. So at the state 1, the temperature is T1 equal to, tolong ingat nanti ya, 32 degree Celsius. Relative humidity 70%. V dot A equal to 2 M cube per minute. And then, the, the, this one, this, T2 equal to 15 degree Celsius. Okay. Yang keluar M dot F, TF equal to 15 degree Celsius. Buka property table nanti. Sediakan property table. Get ready or the property tables. Yeah. P2 equal to 100%. Kalau tak, dia tak boleh nak jadi condensation. And then, after that, yeah. That's all the information that we know. We have to do the analysis. So analysis that we're going to conduct first we're going to look for the uh, the mass balance 
Okay. So mass balance for the dry air. Okay. The mass balance for the dry air m dot a one equal to m dot a two equal to m dot a, which is constant. Okay. Kalau you nak calculate the mass balance pun kat sini pun boleh juga. Which is uh, sorry, the, if you want to calculate the mass flow rate, dua meter cube tadi tu. So m dot a equal to rho a kali dengan v dot a, which is equal to p a over r t kali dengan v a, where p a is equal to apa dia? P A is equal to P minus P V over R T V dot A, which is equal to P minus P V P minus rho T G over R T kali dengan V A. Okay, V A ni merujuk kepada volume lah. Okay, rho P G rho Equal to berapa tadi? 70% kan? Okay. PG at 32 degree Celsius. Ha, buka. Buka property table. Ada buka property table. Ada tak? Ataupun orang lain. Please. Buka property table. 32 degree Celsius. Berapa nilai dia? Nanti masa saya buat nanti I will get back dekat sini. You tolong tolong cakap ya. Eh? You tolong bagi tahu. I will proceed. Idea tolong cari tolong buka dalam property table tu. Berapa nilai dia? Ya. Yeah? Dan nilai kat sini nilai PV which is equal to 0.7 kali dengan PG at 32 degree Celsius. So, please tolong tolong aktifkan dalam kelas. Tu bagi tahu. Check property table semua berapa, jangan tidur. And then you going to have for the uh, mass balance and then as well for the moisture. Nanti Aida tolong stopkan saya punya presentation, cakap nilai nilai yang ini berapa. And then you calculate nilai MA. Ya? Yeah? Tolong kaklik nilai MA. And then for the moisture. Ataupun for the water balance. Water. Water vapor balance. Mass balance. Um, M dot V1. Ada masuk lagi tak? Tak ada. So summation of M dot in equal to summation of M dot V in M dot V out. Ya. Yeah? Which is M dot F plus M dot V2. So, V merujuk kepada water vapor. So, M dot A omega 1 M dot A equal to M dot F plus omega 2 M dot A. Which is M dot F equal to um, M dot A Omega 2 Sorry, Omega 1 Minus Omega 2 Okay So, anyhow The Apa nama tu The calculation require you To calculate the MA value Okay So Ah, omega ni tak ada. Omega ni tak ada dalam ni. Omega you cannot use. You cannot find this omega from the uh, psychrometric chart. Because the psychrometric chart only can be used for the uh, ni je. Only psychrometric chart only can be used for the uh, what the um, uh, uh, apa tu? For the uh, uh, psychrometric chart only for the uh, 
standard atmospheric pressure. Okay. So omega one, berapa? Omega one is equal to m dot v bahagi dengan m dot a, which is equal to zero point six to two pv over pa. Uh, so yang ni equation that you 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 kena you kena ingat eh sorry tadi cakap tak boleh ingat so this this one you have to remember which is 0.6 to 2 pv over pa so pv over pa nilai pv itu pun you tak ada so that's the problem dah jumpa dah nilainya berapa So, H1, 1.005, 30 temperature, and then times with the yang dalam tu. Okay. Badaria semua, faham ke tak ni? Senyap je. Badaria, bad eh apa namanya? Apa dah? Okay ke? H1 berapa? Nanti H2 pun nak kena calculate juga. 78.96. Yang mana yang ini? 78.96. Ah uh, tu, kilo jumlah kg. Okey. Hmm, nampak macam tinggi sikit value nya tapi tak apa. Looks like the, the value is quite quite high, but it's okay. Nanti kita tengok balik, kita counter balik eh. Nanti you check all the calculation. But anyway, it's okay. And then you have to do the energy balance, yeah. That uh, whether from the mass balance tadi, mass balance for the dry air, what you get is m dot uh, f is equal to m dot f. Tadi saya ada ada, ada did, did I come up with the equation yang ini tak? M dot a omega two omega sorry omega one minus omega two kan? Uh, so then you can calculate the m dot f. Okay, you boleh calculate m dot f sekarang. Ah oh, sorry, omega tu tak ada ni. The value for omega tu pun tak ada. So omega tu you kena calculate juga. Okay. Okay. So at stage two, okay at stage two, the m dot a sama. Tadi berapa? M dot A um, T2 which is equal to 15 degree Celsius okay? T2 equal to 15 degree Celsius um, okay. P equal to 100% okay? P equal to 100% Oops Thus uh, P V equal to P G at 15 degrees Celsius. Okay. Cuba you buka balik property table. Boleh tak? Someone, tolong buka property table. Tolong tengok berapa nilai dia. 1.7057. 1.7057 ya. KPA. Ah, okay, good. Okay. So, daripada sini, TA dah ada. So, this is the nilai PV dah ada. So, omega is equal to 0.622 PV over PA. Ha, PV over PA. PA ni yang tak ada. PA at this condition. P minus PV. Ah, okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Ni, ni dah ada. Ni senang je dapat ni. Which is 0 0.622 PV dah ada 1.705 over 100 tolak 1.705 Okay. Ah, so, you dapat lah nilai. Nilai omega. Omega 2. Berapa nilai omega 2 tu? Okay. Then H2 pula. 
equal to CP T2 plus omega 2 kali dengan 2501.3 plus 1.82 times dengan T2 untuk tampil ada ya salah ni So, which is equal to CPT 1.005 T2 berapa tadi? 15 degree Celsius kan? 15 degree Celsius Plus omega 2 Cari berapa nilai dia? Tolong Kira Calculate 25 0.0107 0.0107 ya Kilogram per kilogram air. Okay. Ha, okay, macam tu. 1.82 kali dengan 30. Okay. So, H2 boleh dapat daripada sini. Ha. Berapa nilai H2? Berapa nilai H2? Cepat-cepat masa dah habis. 42.423. 42.423. Okey, kilo J per kilogram. Okey, ingat nombor ni. MA tadi dah kira. MA tadi Ah, so jadi yang you punya value kat atas M dot F boleh calculate Yang ni pun boleh calculate Boleh masukkan ya Kena be careful Yang yang ladies yang senyap-senyap ni pun kena ikut tau Jangan just Tengok saja saya do the calculation You kena buat sekali Nanti you going to miss it Ya yeah? Okay So you have to do the energy balance Okay. The summation of energy First law of thermodynamics Summation of energy in Equal to summation of energy out Which is M dot A H1 Ada tak yang in Energy in lagi? Tak ada kan? Q out Dia pasti dia cooling coil Q dot out Plus M dot A H2 Plus M dot F HF ha. Where HF Is equal to HF at 15 degree Celsius So you look at the Table You kena cari dekat table Property table here Okay Dekat HF sama dengan 15 degree Celsius So tengok balik dekat property table tu So, value for Q out is equal to M dot A H1 minus H3 H2, sorry minus M dot F HF Okay Where M dot A H1 minus H2 Minus M dot F tadi You dah dapat tadi kan M dot A Omega 1 Minus Omega 2 HF So kalau you ambil Kali yang ini Apa yang dapat adalah M dot A H1 minus H2 minus 
omega 1 minus omega 2 kali dengan push F. Okay. You kali lah, cari lah nanti value. Cuma nya definasi yang ini you tak ada lagi. Kita andaikan value yang you tak ada. Itulah. Ya. Yeah. M dot A tadi you tak calculate lagi. So you have to do the all the calculation. M H1 dah ada. Ni dah ada. Omega 1 dah ada. Omega 2 dah ada. HF tadi you tak tengok lagi dekat table. M dot A saya tak tahu. You calculate dah tadi ya. Eh? M dot A. Dah calculate tadi kan? Hello? Ha, dah ya? Eh? Ha, semua dah masukkan. You plug in all the equation, all the numbers, then you get the 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 the, the value. Okay. So sekarang dah pukul 10 kan? Pukul 10 dah sekarang? So this is assignment 1. You tolong buat assignment 1. The due date dah ada. Saya dah bagi. Assignment 2 pun dah ada. So I will stop the presentation here. Nanti di...